Hey everyone, welcome. I am Mr. Bo, and the Curse of Osiris expansion is now out for Destiny 2, which also means that Season 2 has now begun, which then means that Eververse has got a brand new set of ornaments, shaders, ghost shells, ships, sparrows, emotes, you name it. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all that good stuff. So let's start off with the brand new armor sets. So the brand new armor set is the Omega Mechanos armor set. And of course, there's an armor set for the Warlock, the Hunter, and the Titan. Now, I only play as a Warlock, so you can see him on screen here. But I am going to throw up some images of the other armor set for the other classes so you guys can see what those look like. From there, we can then move on to ornaments because there are some new weapon ornaments, but there's also some brand new armor ornaments as well. So the brand new weapon ornaments include the Eye of Osiris for the Prometheus Lens. We then have the Silver Bullet for the Crimson. The Viced Silver for the Connolly. The Jade Jester for the Returning Jade Rabbit. We have Reef in Ruins for again the returning Telesto. We have a brand new Mida Tactical Ornament for the Mida Multi Tool. We have the Catacombs Ornament for the Rat King. And we have a brand new ornament, the Warby skin for the Legend of Acrius. Now along with those weapon ornaments, we have the introduction of some brand new armor ornaments. So for the Warlock, we have Gothic Horror for the Karnstein armlets. We have the Dead of Winter for the Winter's Guile. We have the Midnight Sun for the Wings of Sacred Dawn. For the Hunter, we have the Tiamat for the Dragon's Shadow. We have Forest Ranger for the Orpheus Rig. Trickster for the Gemini Jester. Vulcan's Heart for the Hallow Fire Heart, Rocket Scientist for the Lion Rampant, and Techno Scarab for Kepri's Horn. From ornaments, we can then move on to ghost shells. So we have some exotic ghost shells this time around. We have the Star Map Shell. We have the Cosmo Shell. We have the Fast Lane Shell. The Fire Victoria Shell. And the Electronica Shell. And then for legendaries, we have the Flaming Arrow Shell, we have the Unearthly Koi, 
we have the commanding star shell, we have the grey tiger, the dolphin wave, the triumphal shell, the infinite blue, garter snake, abacus, symphonic, we then have yellow sphere, orchid shell, iris map, pintail, upward climber, viceroy, precious metals, captaincy, in fine omnium, and kaleidoscope. Moving on from that, we then have brand new emotes. We've got three brand new exotic emotes. We've got selfie. We've got mic drop. And we've got sweeping. For the legendaries, we've got timely dance. We've got Trendy Dance. We've got Odder Dance. We have Overnight. We have Disco Dance. And then for the rare remotes we have Call Me, Can Do Attitude, Cool Dude, Humbug and Victory Taunt. We then have the brand new sparrows, and we've got three brand new exotic sparrows. We've got the SV112 Predator. We have the Concentric Dawn. And then we have the Curse of Foresight. We've then got a ton of legendary sparrows. We've got the Avalon Corsa. We have the Angel Lazuli. We have the Twin Tail Locust. The Soul Sifle. The Striped Abandon. Solaris Celestina. Twin Fang. Data Stream. Lunaria Lamina. Cavalcade. Shark Light. Solo Stand. Marbled Orb Weaver. Annabelle Lee. Velos Knight, Trapindon 5, Ridge Runner Rex, Oculus Angulum, Arondite, Directoria Sagita, Aldebaran, Machina Macro, Frego Junior, and Vox Imperative. And I've probably got a load of those names wrong. We then have a load of brand new ships as well including six brand new exotic ships. We have the Sails of Osiris. We have the Saint 14's Grey Pigeon. We have Caber's Glass Aegis. We have Ashimur's one-way ticket. I 
Ikora's resolve. And the Sundaresh Experiment 13R. With legendary ships, we have Star Sion, Galactic Hum, Arrowhawk, Dragon Quinn, Nebula Bloom, Rubentine Dextra, Andromeda Gleaming, Edge of the Worlds, Sailing Shield, Armcoat, Amethystine, Hardtop Regent, Infinite Visage, Wonder Longing, Rune Reed, Antonio, Neverfall, Sponside, Bassinio, Mainsail Royal, and Fantail Regent. We then have some brand new shaders as well. There's only a few here. We've got Descendant Vex Chrome. Mercury Vex Chrome. Precursor Vex Chrome. Desert of Gold. A Metallic Sunrise. And then finally in mods we have some brand new Transmat effects. We have Reflection effects which gives the Osiris themed Transmat effect which is going to look very cool. We have the Dominus Ghoul effect. We have the Traveler's Wake effect. We have the Vex Invasion effect. We then have the beam effect, the spotlight effect, and the class sigil effect. And that is everything brand new in Eververse. There's a lot of stuff there. Hopefully that gave you a good idea of what new things you can get from Eververse. It gives you an idea of maybe what you want to spend your bright dust on if you've got a load saved up for when they become available in the bright dust purchase area, or whether or not you're going to go ahead and get some silver and try your luck on some of these illuminated engrams. Of course, you do get a bright engram every time you level up, so you might get lucky from that as well. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of all of that stuff in the comments below. Which thing here gets you most excited? Which item do you want to try and get the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video or if it's helped you out in any way, feel free to give the like button a big old hug. Subscribe for more Destiny 2 Curse of Osiris content and coverage. Boop that bell to be notified when my future videos go live. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.